In this video, I'm going to show you how to add camera shake to your static footage right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. So once you've launched Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by importing some static footage into the timeline. And once you've imported this, we can go up to the Motion tab on the top left side of Premiere Pro. And we want to start by increasing the scale. So it should be set to 100 by default. And we want to increase this, let's say to 108. Now, making sure the cursor head is at the very beginning of the clip, you want to create a brand new keyframe on position, scale, and rotation. Now, we'll move to the very end of the video, and you want to create another keyframe on scale, position, and rotation. Now, we'll move maybe one quarter into the video, and we're just going to adjust the position ever so slightly. So, we'll pull that over to the left, then we'll move another quarter into the video, and we'll pull that back over to the right, and we'll pull it down a touch. Then, we'll go over one more quarter, and we'll just pull it to the right and back up again. And when we play this back, we've got this really subtle camera move happening, but this is just the position that is being animated. So if we go down to rotation and we go roughly a quarter of the way through the video, change the rotation to 2%, and then we'll go another quarter into the video and change this to negative 1%. As you can see, the video is being animated through the position and the rotation. Of course, if we add more keyframes into the position, then we're gonna have slightly faster camera move. It's gonna be a bit more jolty and not as smooth. So feel free to add points to the position, take them away, add keyframes in the scale or the rotation, add as many as you like. Just keep the movement very subtle to make it look realistic. There's just one final thing that we need to do to really tie this effect together, and that is to add some temporal interpolation. So we're gonna select all of the keyframes on the position, scale, and rotation right click on one of those keyframes we'll go down to temporal interpolation and we'll select ease in this basically means that premiere pro isn't going to suddenly aggressively jolt from one keyframe to the other it's going to slowly animate into each keyframe giving this a much more natural and handheld look and there you go once you've added these keyframes and adjusted the temporal interpolation you've now added some really subtle camera movement to your static footage and there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.